and welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we have sort of a redo for a previous video we did. A little while ago, actually quite a long time ago, we did a video on brisket. And this week we are doing the same thing, but we're doing it sous vide this time. So this is the same dish, but we're doing it in a completely different method that comes out with a very different final product, but also extremely delicious. So let's get going with our ingredients. So here's our brisket. Uh, we've just got a full brisket here. We're gonna get some onions in there as well. Tiny bit of liquid smoke, some garlic, some dill seed, a hot pepper, some allspice and a clove, some pink pickling salt, some regular salt, and some black peppercorns. And all the spices are going to get sort of burred up together. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to grate the onions and garlic. Now this helps to bring a lot of the juices out. It helps to make them a lot. Uh, smoother or uh, it makes them more of a paste so that we can add them to the uh, to the brisket and it gives it a lot more flavor depth uh, a lot more penetration and it allows us to spread it around a little bit uh, better as well so we're going to do that to uh, both of those onions and then we're going to on the smaller side we're going to use it for the garlic and we're just going to grate the garlic as well And that's going to form the flavor base for our, eh, I want to say marinade, but we're just going to put this right into the uh, sous vide once it's, uh, once it's been vacuum sealed. So all of our dry spices, we're going to take the stem off of our little dried peppers. So these are home dried uh, Thai bird chilies. All of our dry spices are going to go into our spice grinder and we're just going to grind that up. It doesn't have to be super, super fine. It doesn't need to be a completely super fine powder. Uh, it can be just a slightly bit chunky as well. We just want to get it, uh, broken down as best we can so that we can easily mix it in and combine it with the rest of our ingredients. So there we go with our spice grinder. That is just about where we want it. As you can see, there are a few slightly larger pieces, but it's mostly uh, ground down to a powder. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're just looking for the flavor. It doesn't need to look real good. In with the uh, liquid smoke, just a few drops. You want to use just a small amount. A little goes a long way. We're going to use a little bit of the pink pickling salt and then our regular kosher salt. And then we're going to uh, just mix this together. We just want to make sure that this is all well combined. And we're going to make a nice little paste out of this. And this is what we're going to coat our, uh, our brisket with for flavor. Now, for a normal brisket, we would typically be smoking this or putting it on a grill uh, after it's uh, after it's been braised for a long, long time. But because we don't get a chance to do that in this recipe, that's why we're using the liquid smoke. We just want that little extra bit of smoky flavor in there. So we're just going to give it a good little massage. We want to make sure that it gets a good coating of our uh, really flavorful paste. And then we're going to pop it into one of these vacuum seal bags. So uh, if you're doing this single-handed, if you're doing this one person, uh, just pop your bag into a big measuring cup or something uh, large that'll let it stand up. And you can just slip it in like that. And then make sure you get all of that amazing flavor in there as well. You want to get all of that onion and spice paste in there to uh, cook with your brisket so that all of that flavor is going to come out. So that's looking great. Uh, we're going to vacuum seal this. And we just have one of these pretty affordable little uh, vacuum sealers. You just pop it in and press the button. And there you go. It starts to pull all of the air out of there. And we're just going to let that go until it seals. And then that's going to go right into our sous vide water. Now we tried to start with uh, water that's hot enough. So we're going to start it uh, in, in really, really warm water and add a kettle of uh, recently boiled water just to top it off if it needs it. And then we're going to start our immersion circulator. And this is going to run at a very low temperature for a very long time. So this is uh, going to start at uh, 135 Fahrenheit, and that's going to run, as you can see, it's already almost 130. And this is going to run at 135 for 48 hours, and it's going to cook in over uh, two days. 
You can see here, Chef Caleb is going to put the 48 hours on the timer. And off we go. And uh, we're just going to cover that. We've got our sous vide in a cooler here. We're just going to cover that with a styrofoam top and it's just going to go. Uh, it's very, very efficient in the cooler because it's, it keeps the temperature very well. And then once everything's done, we're just going to pull that out. And that has been cooking for 48 hours. You can see it in there. You find out pretty quickly if the seal is intact uh, because if you put it in and after a little while the water gets a little bit cloudy or anything like that, you know that your, uh, your vacuum sealer didn't quite seal. You can see how well this has cooked. A lot of juices have come out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to shock that. We're going to put it in the fridge. And then the next day we're going to cook that. So uh, you can see here, we've, this is after it has been in the fridge overnight. We shocked it in cold water, uh, actually in ice water. We shocked it to stop it from cooking right away. And now we're, we're going to give it a sear. And you can see cooked beautifully all the way through. It's almost sort of the, uh, the texture of, uh, of pastrami or something like that. And it is super, super tender. Uh, really, really beautiful. You can see how nicely marbled that uh, brisket is. And this is going to go in a really, really screaming hot cast iron pan. So we're just going to give a little bit of salt and pepper and we're just going to sear this nicely. We're going to do some really nice thick slices and into our beautiful hot pan it goes. So that's a really hot pan. You can see it starts smoking right away. And then once it starts going, we're just going to put a little bit more salt and pepper on the other side. Now, of course, the salt and pepper helps to make that beautiful, beautiful crust when you sear. And a little bit of black pepper. And we just want to get a little bit of color. We just want to get it uh, nicely seared and hot all the way through. And you can see a lot of fat is rendering out. It's, it looks kind of like bacon almost. And we're just going to flip that over and you can see that beautiful sear. A lot of color on there. That is gorgeous. And, and as I said before, a lot of fat is rendering out of that. Uh, that just really helps also make that crust. And we're going to serve this. We made a little bit of creamy coleslaw and uh, some nice tangy little dill pickles and some raw onion. That's pretty traditional for uh, fixings for a barbecue. And that's it. That's, uh, that's the whole dish. Really, really simple. Brisket done this way uh, is extremely versatile. You can do the uh, grits and brisket that we did on our channel a little while ago. This goes amazingly well in a sandwich with pickles and cheddar cheese. Uh, very highly recommended. Really, really um, easy to do when you do the sous vide method because it's just put it in there and forget it for a couple days and then 48 hours later you've got this beautiful, uh, this beautiful dish to serve. So if you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food. Thank you.